My office has received many questions regarding the Defence Legislation Amendment Enhancement of Defence Force Response to Emergencies Bill 2020. It passed both Houses of Federal Parliament on the 8th of December 2020. As Senators, we're obliged to fully understand all legislation before taking a position and voting. And we cannot just look at one clause at a time in isolation. We need to scrutinise all clauses together because some clauses may modify other clauses. This is particularly relevant to this legislation. The banter on social media around the Foreign Troops Bill is an excellent example. The most common yet false claim is that this bill allows the government to bring foreign armies into Australian soil to control Australians with complete immunity from criminal or civil liability. This is completely false. There is no cause for alarm. Let me give you some background. During 2019-2020, eight foreign nations provided assistance to Australia to help fight the bushfires. You're, you may remember the US Coast Guard came out here and were water bombing the bushfires. Tragically, four crew members lost their lives when their water bombing plane crashed. Under the existing laws, if the plane crash damaged Australian property, or even worse, took a life on the ground, the pilots would have been liable for that damage if they survived. Or if they died, then their estates would have been liable for that damage. We don't believe this is reasonable, as these people are over here helping save Australian lives and property. It's only fair they have the same level of indemnity that Australian troops and emergency service personnel have when they're fighting natural disasters. It's worth remembering that the Commonwealth Government has always had the ability to call on Australian Defence Forces and foreign personnel to help in emergencies when, quote, immediate action is necessary to save human life or alleviate suffering, prevent extensive loss of animal life, prevent widespread loss or damage to property, or to prevent environmental damage, and when state or territory resources are not adequate, end of quote. The immunity granted to foreign troops is only given in relation to the conduct of the individuals in the performance of their official duties connected with the natural disaster emergency. What that means is they can't grab a truck not belonging to them or backburn someone's property to carry out their duties or to protect the greater good. Therefore, quote, Immunity only applies when the duties are carried out to assist either the ADF or Defence Department in preparing for or responding to a natural disaster or other emergency. Should force, coercive powers or a criminal offence occur against anyone in our Australian community, the foreign troops lose this indemnity immediately, as would our own troops. Those people then are held accountable under our existing laws. Only Australian Defence Force members and foreign personnel who act in good faith in the course of their duties are offered this immunity. Social media speculation about this bill is false. It needlessly worries people for no reason. It's important for all people to diligently research legislation to ensure messages are accurate. Remember, Pauline and I have consistently called out corrupt, unelected overseas organisations interfering with Australia and with our policies. I will never support anything that's not in the best interests of Australians. You can be absolutely reassured that I would never support a bill that would let foreign armies onto Australian soil to control Australians and with complete immunity from criminal or civil liability. There are times when we need international support to battle natural disasters and those serving troops performing their duty deserve the same immunity as our own troops and emergency services.